All right, this arena run shows off Tiger Boar with Coconut. If you're wondering how to get Coconut, it's pretty simple. I'll just go ahead and spoil it right now. You go with a seagull with a strawberry on it, and then you get Velociraptor. So the Velociraptor gives the seagull a coconut in battle, and then if you swallow something, like a whale, the spawn will get coconut. So I pretty much stole this idea from Infected Player or Disease, uh, as pretty much all of my ideas at this point are just stolen from him. But yeah, it's a very interesting idea and a cool way to get coconut. There is another way to get coconut if you've seen Super Auto Gaming's video about it that's really complicated and takes a whole bunch of efforts, and this one is much easier. It doesn't take so much prep. Uh, not that it's exactly amazing, like the difference between coconut and uh, melon, probably not a huge difference. Might not be worth like spending so much gold trying to get it, but oh, go this is the run anyway. I got early seagull. It's, uh, it's looking good. But yeah, it, in case you can't tell, this is the updated version of the game. So they did release the test server into the main game now, and this is just how it looks. I kind of said my thoughts in the previous video, but I'm not a huge fan of the update to the UI. There's a lot of nice like quality of life improvements, but the stars look a bit more confusing. The font is just different. I don't really care too much about the font. Uh, and there's some nice things like you can import export packs. You can randomize packs. Uh, there's like some tips you can get. You can like have merge. There's different languages. Or like merge prompts. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of things. The actual balance changes. The biggest ones are the ones that are kind of like not blatantly stated. Like they actually nerfed Dragonfly. Maybe people don't know about this, but it used to be left to right scaling and now it's random. So you can no longer kind of choose what you're scaling. Uh, they stopped or they nerfed the Tiger one up strat. So it no longer summons two things at once, which I guess was just a bug before. And so that's now patched. Because, like, Tiger 1-Up Octo would summon two Octos, and that's way too good. And then the last one was the Start of Battle ability. So if you have a Start of Battle ability, it used to guarantee go off before, even if the thing died, but now that's not the case. If the unit dies, then it no longer does its ability. And this is not great, um, especially in versus lobbies. It is a huge change, because if a Leopard shoots before another Leopard, it's killing a whole bunch of things, and then that Leopard won't be able to go off. And if you're thinking like super late game, you have two 50-50 leopard teams, whatever one shoots first is going to win. And it's just complete RNG, because when two things have the same attack, it's just RNG which one goes first. So that is really unfortunate, um, and I hope they kind of revert it back to what it was. I, I think they might, I mean they definitely listen to the community if there's enough pushback for it. And I do think it is just a bad change. Uh, I don't think there's really anything too beneficial from making it like this. Uh, maybe just like initially your first reaction would be like, okay, yeah, if it dies, it doesn't get to do its ability. But it turns out it's just way worse for the game, I think. Uh, yeah, so got Parrot Ox, still pretty good for the mid-game tempo. Got Melon on the Seagull for Melon on everything. Although the Melon on the Ox and the Parrot, of course, does not really matter. Unless I ran into a Dolphin, it actually did matter there because it would have sniped the Parrot before. Uh, but it's turn 7, which means I'm going to be looking for Whale here, because there's only a few things that are going to stick around. The Parrot Ox and the Capybara, not going to stick around. Um, I thought about going double Cappy, and then I was like, wait a second, I'm just rolling for Whale, and also Deer, because Whale Deer is definitely the best thing to swallow, and it's the way to survive for the time being, I think. Got two Melons, so again, Dolphin Protection, I guess, which is pretty nice, and then Melon the Whale. And then I get another Paradox. This time I guess I bought a can, so it's slightly stronger. And that's the old Parrot stats, I think. Was it a 6-3 or 6-2? I can't even remember. Look at that, another Dolphin. So many Dolphins. Oh wait, no, it's the same person. That's why, because I'm fighting the same guy I just fought. Uh, luckily do manage to win that round. Now looking for level ups to potentially get a early tier 6. So I need Velociraptor, I need Boar, and I need Tiger. That's three tier sixes. Can be kind of tricky to get all three of those things. Also looking to level up whale because if you get a level three whale, it spawns the both triple base stats. So that's pretty important. And oh, I forgot the seagull would give the bus melon. Overrides the splash attack. That's a bit unfortunate. And then the bus killed my parrot, so lost that round. But it didn't matter because it was replaced by weakness anyway. Alright, so got a couple early tier sixes. Uh, Velociraptor is what I want to see. Also got a Octo, 
So I decided, why not take Whale Octo? Uh, we'll give the Octo spawn a Melon, which is pretty nice. And it'll also be a 16-16, because again, the base stats will be doubled. Unfortunately, I used both the triggers for the Seagull this turn, so it's not actually going to get Melon. But let's see. And then there's another Dolphin, so many Dolphins. Luckily, the Octo Snipe hit the uh, Hippo there, otherwise that would have been a real problem. Okay, now rolling for Strawberry for the Seagull, and ooh, double chocolate. Super lucky. Uh, go for level 3 Whale now. And yeah, can't find Tiger or Boar yet. I mean, it makes sense to just go Whale Octo, but I was like, you know what's more fun? Boar. Like, Boar has very low health, so Coconut actually might matter, because it get, might get one shot through uh, Melon. And also, having, you know, surviving, taking zero damage is just great, because then you get to gain health the next time as well. I don't know, that was my reasoning. Also, you just like, why go for the f uh, boring good things when you can go for the stupid fun things? That's always reasonable logic right there. There we go, so there's the strawberry. The one thing that I have to be concerned about that honestly I completely forgot is that it's just gonna give strawberries to everything that I buy. So when I buy this boar and this tiger, they're both gonna get strawberry and then the velociraptor can give coconut to one of the three things at random. Uh, coconut got popped there from a blowfish, but 24-24 octo, ah, uh, is still a loss. Okay, unfortunate. Go down to lethal. Thought it was kind of be over, and then I rolled past a boar. I can't believe it. I was like, okay, looking for a boar, and then I just rolled past it. Uh, maybe I'm just boar blind, but luckily the game was very generous, and it just gave me another boar. So thank you, game. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna have to replace this. Uh, I almost said melon, strawberry, with something else because I want the Velociraptor to give coconut to the seagull, otherwise it's just very useless. Had one more roll, and I thought it was over here. I was like, dude, this team sucks. I got whale boar, and that's it, and a lionfish. There's no way I win this round, right? And it looks like I wouldn't, but the weakness comes in clutch, and then they have such low attack that the boar just wipes out their team. It gets plus 12 plus 6 before every attack. Okay, so replace the thing slowly, and then perfect gold amount. Really lucky here that I'm able to, again, replace the strawberry, so guaranteed to get the coconut on the thing that I want, and now the tiger boar should work. Unfortunately, I used some of the triggers, so I don't know if it's going to work this turn. That's a very strong peacock. Okay, got one coconut on the level 3, and it's getting plus 12, plus 6. Wait, was the tiger not working? Am I crazy? It's supposed to get more than plus 12, plus 6, and then plus 4, plus 2, right? It should get 16, 8. Am I losing my mind? There might just be some bugs. Uh, I feel like I have pilled something in front of Ox as well, and it's not gotten Melon. Maybe that's just something like an uh, unpatched bug from the test server. Let's see if it works this time. I'm actually... Okay, this is not the team you want to run into. Elephant Armadillo. Uh... Okay, it does gain a lot of stats. It, uh, it just, it covered it up because I couldn't see. It just showed the plus 12, plus 6. But unfortunately, the team loses. Who would have thought? Tiger, Whale, Boar, not actually amazing? I can't believe it. It was still fun, though. Getting Coconut on any unit is just a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. See ya.